you know Ruth's Beards and Gear? We check out the Aux amp top box from Universal Audio. Using what Universal Audio calls dynamic speaker modeling, they have managed to create the environment in which the cabinet lives, as well as the nuances of the individual speaker and speaker cabinet properties. Now, when you factor in the fact that the aux has a reactive load, meaning the amplifier sees an actual speaker because the speaker changes impedance dynamically as it reacts and pushes and pulls. And that is exactly what the aux lets the amplifier see. And that gives you more realistic response as opposed to just a static dynamic load. Now, when you factor those things in with the digital goodness that Universal Audio has managed to perfectly combine with the analog goodness, you get the aux and it's just awesome. I've been using the aux for about a month now and I'm really, really impressed. I use a simple, straightforward setup. I have an amplifier, I will plug into the aux, I will then go out via SBDIF digitally into my Universal Audio Apollo 8 interface, and I am off to the races. I love the fact that the app, the desktop app, and the iPad app are wireless. You don't have to be connected via a hard line, via USB, or anything like that. This has a built-in hotspot. You can just tap into the Wi-Fi, and you are good to go. And it dynamically changes if you select your rig, for example, click, click, or if you wanna dial in some rooms, you can do that as well. And I'll show them more, a little bit more of that later, but for right now, you know what? This, I will always take an excuse to get a little heavy and get my chugga chugga on. So we are going to do just that. I'm going to use my signature Balaguer Hyperion and a Custom Shop 60s Fender Strat into an orange Rockerverb Mark III into the Universal audio aux. Yeah, I will note what cabs are you are hearing on the screen, so on and so forth, but yeah, let's do a tune. So now for the playthrough, I'm going to get into tutorial mode and we're just going to kind of use the desktop app so I could visually kind of show you guys everything that is going on within this lovely little box of goodness. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of take you through the aux features using the desktop app, which is hooked up to the aux via Wi-Fi. There's no USB cable going to it at all. That is the first thing that I thought was absolutely brilliant because I don't want another thing taking over another USB port, you know what I mean? So here is the session behind the aux app. Here is my logic ses session for the song you guys just heard. I just recorded a real brief uh, Strat DI on the bridge pickup and I'm going to reamp in real time just so I can concentrate on showing you guys the app as opposed to playing and then, you know, fiddling with the mouse and the faders and things like that. I'm just going to focus on the task at hand. So here is the aux app from top to bottom. We have the cabinet that's selected. We have kind of the top of the console uh, from left to right, the cabinet selection, uh, mic one, mic two, the room mics, and then the master out. And then down below that are the applicable 
faders to each of those sections, okay? So right now, I'm going to mute the rooms because we're going to talk about the rooms in just a second. But primarily, you're going to be living in this area. Uh, the two microphones you're going to do, you're going to be playing a lot with the two microphones. The cabinet selection is pretty good. Um, they got a little bit of everything. There's a 10-inch, the 12-inch blue on Nico, um, some black D Deluxe-ish stuff. Um, you know, they have Vox stuff, Vibroverb stuff, um, all sorts of speaker cabinets. A basement, um, 412 Marshall with greenbacks, Super 80, and a white 75, which I believe is just a regular Marshall cab, like a 1960. So, I'm going to go to the preset that I used for the video, and that is the Fluff Rocker Verb. I'm using the 25 watt thick greenback model, a dynamic 57, and a ribbon 121. Now I have the 57 off axis and I have the ribbon dipped just a little bit. And here's what it sounds like uh, with the clean channel engaged on the rocker verb. Now I'm going to play with some controls and I'm actually going to uh, bring in the rooms as well. And notice how really nice and rich the rooms are. I just love the rooms with the UA aux. They just bring a lot of life to the guitar tone. Uh, with distorted stuff, uh, I usually have the rooms off. I'm not really interested in a room sound with a high gain guitar tone, but with anything less than a high gain guitar tone, rooms can add a lot of depth and width to your guitar tone. So let's talk about the master section. With the aux, you have a set of tools. You are not just stuck with the sounds that you're hearing. You can modify them, you can shape them. And I did just that with uh, my preset. So with the EQ, I rolled off a little bit of the top end and I didn't have it engaged for the actual video, but I was playing with some low cut. I decided ultimately not to do that. I will just do that in post in the DAW. But these are some very powerful tools to kind of get you that last 10% that you may not be able to get with the microphone or the cabinet model. Uh, next is an 1176. I mean, I just, I almost fell over when I saw that, uh, when I first checked this out at NAMM, because just the plugin, the, the UA 1176 plugin is over $100, so that is just huge value right there uh, for me personally, because I use the 1176 on just about everything. Uh, next, you have a delay. If you want some delay, you can have it. Let's ch let's check out the delay. Let's play with it, shall we? Getting a little weird, but that's okay because I like getting a little weird with uh, some delay, right? Okay, and then lastly, you have some really nice plate reverb. Now, I still have the rooms engaged, and I'm gonna engage the plate reverb, and this is a really, really great reverb, and uh, they did a really good job.
I love that you can kind of uh, mess with the balance of just the reverb and kind of tilt it the, with the stereo image. Awesome. It sounds, I love that reverb. It's very thick. So let's check out some cabinets. I've been on a 412 this whole time, but there's a lot more to the aux than just a 412 Marshall. So I'm gonna engage the track again, and we're just gonna play through some cabinets. Lastly, I also wanted to actually show the interaction between the hardware and the software. I'm going to change rigs because you can assign uh, up to six rigs on the aux and you can just change them right on the front and it'll change in the app. Also, I can mess with the room mic levels as well. So I'm doing that. I'm doing that right on the unit, so you don't necessarily need the app, but the app does really open up the ability of the aux to just go anywhere you want, tonally speaking. After having used this for over a month, like I said earlier, there are really only one or two things I would actually change about the aux. The first being the addition of a Vintage 30 guitar cabinet. There is no Vintage 30 guitar cabinet, although, I have yet to find a, an amp that I have not been able to get the tone I want out of it using the cabinets that are included with the aux. I don't know if they plan on updating or making more cabinet models available at a later time. I do not know, but having a vintage 30 cabinet would be an incredible addition and really just really kick it up a notch. Um, even though it's already up so far, but it would take it that little extra step having access to a vintage 30 speaker. And the second thing I would change is this be rack mount because I would love to take this on tour. I know it's really not meant to be for touring. This is really meant for being a studio tool or the attenuation part, you know, for a live situation, but not necessarily touring and the rigors of the road and the abuse that ensues from that. I get it, but it would be cool to have it be rack mount because at least it could fit in my desk. But besides those two things, this is an absolute winner. This is a box of gold and for, for $1,200, I think it is, it's an incredible buy as well. All the pickable links down below in the description. You've been wonderful, I've been Fluff. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.